In this short video, we're gonna look at a range of wall coatings and ceiling coatings that you'll be using on a variety of different jobs, whether it be new build or redecoration. So we'll start off with contract mat. Contract mat is designed to be breathable, so it can be used on plastered surfaces or dry line surfaces, which may still contain a little bit of moisture. So it allows the surface to breathe. Now it is available in a few hundred colors. So in other words, you've got a lot to choose from, but not as much that you might have when it comes to these two. Now, when it comes to increasing your durability, but also in increasing the color offering that you could give to your customers, we have vinyl mat. So this is more washable, more wipeable, certainly more than the contract emulsions. And it's nice and easy to apply. You can still use it on dry surfaces. So if your plasterboard or plaster is fully dry, you can still thin the first coat down as a mist coat, and then you don't need to worry about using a variety of different paints. You can just stick with the same one. However, if your customer is looking for more durability and the surfaces are dry, or it's a redecoration job, then you might wanna consider the durable mat. It gives you much more durability over and above both the contract mat and the vinyl mat, available in the same colors as vinyl mat, so the offering is, is massive. You can actually wipe and wa wash the surfaces down repeatedly so the customer gets a fantastic job for a longer period of time. So when it comes to choosing what paint you need, it's location first, whether it's new build, whether it's redecoration or both, regardless of which one you're gonna be painting, you've got a variety of different color choices, a couple of thousand in these two, a couple of hundred in those ones. So now I've shown you the durability of wall coatings that you may use on a quite a regular basis. First one I have contract mat, I have vinyl mat, and I also have durable mat. So what you'll find is I'm gonna have got a, a clean cloth just with water on it, um, that I'm gonna give each one a scrub um, and see what comes off. So if I give the contract mat a wipe, what you'll find is paint will come off. Now that's surprising because it is actually designed to be breathable when it comes being used in new build, so plaster or plasterboard. So washability isn't necessarily an issue or something we should be really that concerned about. So if I change it to a, a clean face again, and now we're gonna start onto the vinyl mat, same process, and what you'll see, a small amount has come off. And again, that's what we'll be looking for. Vinyl mat is designed to be wipeable. So if it's used on redecoration work or even in new build, it means that the customer then has the option of giving the walls a slight wipe down should they get dirty. So I'm gonna change the face again to again, a, another, clean, another clean surface. This time we're gonna go on to durable mat. And we give that, again, another big scrub. Um, what you'll find is there is no paint comes off at all. And again, that's what it's designed for. So durable mat is designed to be much more scrubbable. It's actually been tested to a British standard, class one, which means it goes to a rigorous test of 200 cycles of scrubs, which gives us the highest classification of um, scrubability and washability. So we've got a variable different range there of wipe and washability. So now I've shown you the, um, the wipeability with water. Just want to put it through a bit more of a stringent test. So I've got some ketchup here, um, which I'm just going to put onto the contract mat um, and the vinyl mat and onto the, the durable mat as well. Now, just with a, a clean cloth, again, just with water on it, so there's no cleaners, we'll just have a look and see what we can do with regards to removing the stains. So clean cloth, we can actually give that a bit of a clean. So there's a small amount of residue still left on the, on the contract and it's taken some paint off with the vinyl mat. <laughs> Takes a bit more work, but that's not actually that bad. Slight, slight stain there, um, very little, not too much to worry about. And then with the, um, with the durable mat, absolutely nothing left on at all. So now we've finished removing all the ketchup from the surface, well let's just have a quick look to see what it looks like. Now we can see on the contract mat that there's still some residue of the ketchup still present, um, which isn't too surprising. Um, the vinyl mat, there's virtually nothing there, so pretty good on that one. And on the durable mat, there's absolutely nothing left at all. So overall, we've actually got a good result there. Good, better, best. <laughs>